I'd like to show you a Python library for Motion Builder that I created as a weekend project. It's called FB Relation, and it defines a small declarative language for creating relation constraints. Here's a quick example. This program defines a single relation constraint macro that simply doubles its input value. To run it, I just pass the input text to fbrelation.loads. Setting up relation constraints like these using the Motion Builder API can be a bit cumbersome. I made this library as an exercise to see if I can make that process any easier. There are some limitations imposed by the Motion Builder API that make this project more of a curiosity than anything, but it was fun to write anyway. For now, I'll show you a couple more examples. This is a more complex program that defines a vector interpolation function. It starts with a declaration for linear interpolation, using input, output, and function boxes. This first constraint is used as a macro in the second constraint in order to implement vector interpolation. This program is saved to a file called vectorinterpolate.txt. I can run the program by calling fbrelation.load on that file. Now the layout of the boxes is less than ideal, but you can see that the interpreter faithfully reproduces the declarations in the program. Here's one final example. This program will create a relation constraint that refers to objects in the scene. Cube A will be added to the constraint as a sender, and cube B will be constrained as a receiver. We'll add box declarations to the constraint for both of those models. Now we'll use cube A's global transformation to drive cube B's local transformation by adding the appropriate connection declarations. You can see that that works too. The interpreter does a fair amount of static checking, and it'll raise exceptions to reject invalid programs. If we change our program to refer to a box that doesn't exist, we'll get a compilation error. If we screw up the syntax, it'll be caught even earlier, and we'll get a parsing error. Finally, if we make a mistake that the interpreter can't identify until runtime, we get an execution error. You can download this module from GitHub if you'd like to try it out. And it's fully documented as well if you'd like to learn more about how the module works. You can find those links below. Thanks for watching, and feel free to get in touch if you have any questions or comments.